Hi everyone, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you some troll beads designs that I've put together so far for the month of October. Uh, in the month of October, uh, my dear friend Ollie has a challenge on Instagram where we try to post a different uh, like spooky design uh, each day for the month of October and it doesn't have to be spooky. This design right here isn't very spooky and the design that I'm wearing on my wrist right now isn't very spooky but it's just uh, something fun to do for the Halloween season. I'm gonna go ahead and just get right into my bracelet designs so Hopefully I won't have this video so darn long. Uh, I'm gonna start with this design right here. And this bangle design was what I put together for October 1st to just kind of welcome the month. And I am just so jazzed how uh, this turned out. Like I'm using um, a very new bead to my collection right here, along with some oldies but goodies, which is what you're seeing here and here. But let me uh, share everything. So with this design, like on the first of the month, I always do a, you know, welcome whatever month it is and I use the birth month flowers or the flower of the month flowers, whatever you like to call it. And so that is this particular silver bead that you see right here. This is the calendula of October and it features a, a very large calendula flower right here. And then as you spin it, you see some leaves and you see a smaller calendula flower and then a few more leaves hold this hidden pearl detail. And it's just a very beautiful uh, silver bead. And uh, beside it, I have the uh, Sunshine Spacer, which just has some nice texture. And then this particular design features two glass beads from a very long retired troll beads kit. It is called, I believe it's called Native Elements. And it featured, uh, like this is the Aqua Edge Pumpkin, but they also had a bead called Aqua Edge Petals. And then it also had like some different pod designs. Uh, there was the green pod, there was the red pod, and then I think there was an orange pod. And this is the green pod bead and it obviously has a green base with some black polka dots and then it has like this pod detail done in orange and i thought the orange really pulls out the color in the new golden trace bead from the newest faceted kit which I believe is the Nature Life Kit. I'll put all the names and of course of everything down below, but I just thought it was such a nice match uh, and you know, good excuse to dig into my bead box and pull out some older long retired beads. Uh, this here is the Pumpkin of Courage and I believe he came out last autumn and he is just so cute. Like he is the modernized pumpkin bead. And I believe on one of my designs down here, I have the older pumpkin. He is, has a lot of beautiful oxidized detail. And you know, it on the back side has kind of a nod to the older pumpkin bead with this bat detail and I'll show you that in a little in a little bit but it has a cut out bat on the back of this pumpkin you can see all of the beautiful flutes of the pumpkin uh, with all that carved detail 
and then you do see a tendril uh, up here towards the top. And this particular pumpkin can be used as a splitter with the opening here on the top. So you can actually use this pumpkin bead on a fantasy necklace. That is Pumpkin of Courage. That again is the green pod bead. And then just kind of finishing up the design, I have uh, the long retired maple leaf silver and then just an oxidized spacer. And this is on my heart bangle. And uh, the only reason why this is called a heart bangle is that the end caps, the way the bangle is designed, uh, it kind of forms a little heart uh, on the very end. So that was my welcome October bangle. And then let me share with you uh, this foxtail design. And this foxtail design, I had so much fun putting together. It basically, the inspiration for it is this new glass bead that came out this year. There was a complete kit of six uh, different little smiley face glass beads. And this is the one that I purchased. I didn't purchase the entire kit. I just really liked this one where it has kind of that peachy base and then it has a brighter orange and then a white little smiley faces. And this one is called Family Fun. And I I think in the back of my mind, I was thinking of this particular unique that I had picked up, I believe this year, thinking it would be a really good match. And um, I don't think I was wrong. Uh, I really, really love how this bracelet turned out. Like this is gonna be, a really hard one to pull apart and this is where I wish I had like multiples of all of these silver charms just because again really hard to pull this one apart but let me <laughs> share the whole design with you starting with the clasp this is the spooky bat clasp uh, this is long retired very hard to find and I was lucky enough to, to find one maybe three, four years ago. And you can see it is just this little bat. You can see his wing de detail going up the one side of the clasp. And then as you turn it, you have, of course, the wing detail on the opposite side. So just really well done. And you can kind of see the little fur detail on the bat's body. You can make out the little bat eyes and ears. Like it is just such a stunning clasp and just perfect for spooky season here in the US. This is a unique that I picked up, I believe this year or maybe towards the end of last year, but it is just this orange and white glass bead where it just reminds me of a candy, like just a classic Halloween candy where, uh, you know, they maybe took a pinwheel and just kind of twisted it a little bit. And down the center, there is just this little hint of uh, like a light tealish blue but the the star of the show in my opinion is just the orange and white and how it just reminds me of a classic uh, hard candy next to it i have a bead called heart catcher and this is a spider web as you can see uh, there is a spider on one side and you can see like it's got like a, a cross on the body and of course the long legs. You can actually see the spider's face. And then on this side of the web, there is a heart, uh, hence the name Heart Catcher. I'm trying to show it to you here. 
So this is uh, the heart. And then I have a black onyx, just a classic stone that just looks so beautiful around this time of year. This is a very uh, long retired glass bead, just simply called chess. And it just mimics uh, a chessboard with the black and white squares. Here we have the original pumpkin bead, uh, and I believe it's just called pumpkin. And this one is closed on the top, and it has, what I love about it is it does have a cut out bat for the mouth. And then on the back side of this bead, it has that flying bat. Uh, which is kind of the same style as on the Pumpkin of Courage, but this one is just completely oxidized. It is not cut out like it is on the Pumpkin of Courage. So a nice nod to the original with the Pumpkin of Courage, and the original is still such a classic, perfect Halloween bead from Troll Beads. Here we have, again, another long retired glass bead. This one is just called Orange Steel. And this one has an orange core and it does have like, to me, it looks like little metal strands uh, kind of on the board, almost, I don't know, like threads. And it just forms this nice little detail uh, throughout the surface of the bead. And then here we have the Spirit of Sleep and it is just a pair of pajamas and it kind of harkens back to uh, like the Peter Pan bead and the Skeleton Spirit bead, like how they all sit knees up, um, you know, crisscross applesauce with the little, their arms crossed and resting on the knees. This is Spirit of Sleep. And I always kind of think of it as the headless horseman's pajamas, just because there's no head or face detail on this. So just a nice bead. And this one too can be used as a splitter because it has an opening towards the top and the bottom as well as on both sides. Then we have the family fun bead, which was the entire inspiration for this particular bracelet. And then we have the sleeping bat silver. This is also long retired. I, I think like this came out like around 2013 or 14. I could be wrong, but this is just a classic bat kind of hanging upside down sleeping. You can see the bat's body uh, and like that fur detail. And then you can see like the little bat's face, like its ears, its eyes, its nose. And, you know, dare I say it, uh, I almost feel like I have like a little mouth and fang detail there. Very cute. You can see its little feet kind of hanging on to whatever it hangs on to when it's um, sleeping. And then you kind of can see the wing detail from either side. And then here is the back detail. So very classic. Halloween troll bead that uh, is long retired. This is also a long retired glass bead. This one is called Coral Opal. And this one is uh, bumpy and textural and just a beautiful shade of orange. And I really love like all the oranges, how they just kind of all match together. So Coral Opal. And then this is the Witch Shoes. And this particular 
silver is completely oxidized to make the shoes look black and the buckles on the shoes are more of a traditional high polished silver just to give it a little bit of contrast and the shape of the shoes is just so cute you've got the upturned toes and you know kind of a high heel uh, any stylish witch would love to have these in her closet and I just love how the back detail kind of forms uh, almost like a little heart shape so this is the witch shoes this is a unique that I picked up last year and it is like it looks opaque from the front but as you can see it is clear like the base itself is white and then it has the clear glass over top and then they like towards the surface of the bead they did a more opaque white um, along with this black curly Q detail and this is uh, the black detail is on the surface of the bead so it is a little textural which is you know just really fun so a unique and then probably my favorite troll beads black glass bead of all time this is the sahara night facet uh, this one has a black core and then just completely clear faceted glass um, over top. I love this bead so much. I have, I, I was lucky enough, I found a second one and I purchased it. Like it is just a beautiful bead. So Sahara Night Facet. This is another classic Halloween troll bead. This is the spider. You can see all the detail of the spider. You can see the, the eyes and you can see the body um, and the spots on the body or maybe that's the spider's babies. I don't know. It's got some very creepy spindly legs. Like I like spiders when they're outside. I don't necessarily like them inside my house. I will try to get them outside, uh, but yeah, spiders, they belong outside, not in my house. <laughs> I do appreciate what they do, uh, but not in my house. So that is the spider. Uh, this is another fun, unique uh, that I purchased. And I do believe I got this particular unique this past year. And it just has this beautiful bright orange core and then clear glass. And then there is like this cross hatch pattern, for lack of a better term, done with an opaque white glass that's towards the top of the surface, but encased inside the glass. This is not textural at all. And then the last silver, just kind of rounding up the back side of the bracelet is the pumpkin ornament and this is a very old silver also long retired but i actually think that one might still be available so this is my foxtail design and let's see i have a bangle design here for you this was just a really simple bangle and the inspiration behind this one is just the, the Halloween Queen. And she was the limited edition 2021 Halloween offering. Like every year, uh, Troll Beats comes out with a new Halloween bead. I think Pumpkin of Courage was the limited edition bead for 2023. This would be the Halloween bead for 2021 this little happy or family fun this was one of the limited edition offerings for 2024 so we have halloween queen and she is a just gorgeous skull and very ornate uh, you can see her eyes and her nose 
you have her mouth detail and then you have like on the skull like all of this ornate flower carvings and such uh, just kind of making her stand out like it even has it on the side like where the bangle goes through you can kind of see what looks to be like a sunflower detail so very beautiful silver bee and then for the colors i went with a pair of the natural gray quartz like this was the father's day bead from a few years back and i'm hoping it picks up on camera but the natural gray quartz is just such a stunning bead and so fun to look at from the side like it has this sparkle i don't know if it's inclusions um not quite sure what you would call it oh there's a good shot of it but like it is just magic in a in a stone like it looks like a universe of stars just within the stone itself so natural gray quartz um, these i believe are limited edition but i think they're still available we have a pair of my favorite little flower wreath beads and then we have a hessenite garnet and then we have the daisy jubilee and i just thought this was very apt very dramatic styling for the halloween queen and then the bead or the bracelet that i'm wearing today on my wrist is this one here and this I have on the power bangle. Like I actually purchased this with the limited edition like Amethyst uh, Serenity glass bead. And that might be the name of the limited edition bangle like Amethyst Serenity. I know the bangle by itself is just called the power bangle. And this features a pair of amethyst stones on the end caps. And this particular bead um, or bracelet design, I should say, uh, the inspiration for it was this bumpy, like lumpy, bumpy, unique that I purchased with South Hill Village with their grand event this year. And like when I was digging through my bead box, um, I really liked how this particular unique kind of brings out the violet purple and black as well as a little bit of the white in this unique and then this faceted bead here oh, i'm blanking on the name um, but as always i'll put the name down here but i felt like it brings out of course the black uh, it also picks up a little bit of the orange in this lumpy, bumpy bead. And then, uh, you know, there's a little bit of purple and white uh, with the flowers. And so that and the black background, I just thought this was a perfect uh, faceted glass to uh, incorporate with these two uniques. So this... Uh, I have with let's see we just have an oxidized spacer here we have the crown of leaves spacer here we have a Sahara night facet which I just showed you on my foxtail uh, the lumpy bumpy unique and then this is the scary cat and this was the limited edition Halloween bead, I believe, for 2022. So, um, yeah, this particular bangle. In fact, the inspiration also was uh, I matched, I was trying to match this bracelet to my nails. And as you can see, like, there is a lot of that uh, violet purple or violet pink pinky purple 
as well as like that deeper purple um, in the nails. So I uh, kind of put this together to match my manicure uh, yesterday. So this is uh, everything I've put together troll beads wise uh, for the month of October so far. Uh, let me know which design is your favorite. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next one.